Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Nobody Saves the World where today, this time for real, is Witch Queen time. For real, for real. Uh, so we probably want to be blunt and dark. Honestly, it's a pretty good fit for me. Um, you know, bodybuilders just kind of generally very good. And we could like give him consume. I do not, I do not hate that idea. Everybody's at least B. Yeah, let's just do this. Sorry, I should probably actually equip the thing. Uh, yeah. Consume, I think, makes sense. Oh, we could zombite people too, though. And if we zombite people, then we just have, like, a, a herd of zombies that I don't have to spend a lot of time. This actually does good damage. Yeah, I think that's really good. Okay. Uh, I don't want Mermaid's Resolve. I do want... What do I want? We could take Stat Explosion. Stat Explosion's not a bad move, actually. And then we, we um, grab, like, Stun Powder. Especially with the zombies. Yeah, we just do the do the stack up all the damage as fast as possible build. Just gotta stand there and flex for a moment. Okay. Feeling feeling ready to go. Okay, health of all baddies is up. Uh, all health restored to the players, also restored to baddies and familiars. Uh, we don't have any healing really. I don't think this should be a problem. Good. So whenever we pick up food, it'll uh, extend the life of our familiars. Okay, they do come to the next floor with us. Also, they just don't. What? No matter what you do, they just don't last very long. Wait, I should be. I should be doing zombie stuff. Oh, I don't have any mana. That's why I'm not biting. Come, zombies. Ah. Crap, crap, crap. I'm, yeah, I'm going to die to poison. It takes a little while for um, all the stuff to recharge, and also, Zombite has a relatively high mana cost relative to the bodybuilder's mana pool. Also, also, upgrade tokens. So we use the up we use the bodybuilder's stuff a lot. I feel like, especially strongman, this should definitely get upgraded. Uh, restores more mana. Probably a good idea. May as well. So, also upgrading this to reduce the cooldown seems wise. I was kind of hoping it would affect the mana cost. So we can't level up. Um, we can't level up the passives that don't come from a class, can we? They don't they don't have a spot in the book. That's kind of a shame. May as well build our status effects more quickly. Uh yeah, and I guess that's it. We probably don't need to up upgrade slap. Oh no, okay, these do have they, they do have a page toward the end. Uh, explosion size up seems fine. Okay. And the maximum level of these is based on the level of your of your base form, which is to say story progress. Okay. Hey, 
might as well get ten dollars. So does this actually heal them? No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe zombies are just not affected by healing. to stop the wards from being reapplied. So much necromancy. I want to be the necromancer. It's very unfair. They're just like waving it in front of my face. They do not want me to have any healing. Alright, some very good work from our zombies there. Yeah, I love the zombies stopping us from getting mobbed. That's really helpful. I also love the super confident bodybuilder running around with the horde of zombies. It's just a good vibe. It's a character type that I wish we saw more often in media. into the hall a little bit. There we go. That worked out pretty well. All right, so we got to find a couple of keys. Yeah, Zombite seems to apply the stun literally instantly. No, okay, it just gets us to like three quarters. So if a, if a zombie has bit the enemies at all, then when we apply the, uh, the zombite, it does the stun. Pretty useful. This feels like a very powerful build. You do have to actually hit your attacks, though. Can you imagine the audacity of making me have to aim a little bit? Okay, maybe I didn't need to come down here. That's possible. These things that the weird necromancer fungus guys are summoning are so weird looking. A very good assortment of skulls here. The necromancers are summoning. They look like, like noses with legs. That can't be what they are. I'm sure I'm seeing that wrong. Oh, that's gonna create a couple of zombies. I mean, they're mostly nose. Stupid elite die. Yeah, I'm glad I'm playing a class with an attack as wide as the bodybuilders. We'd be having a hell of a time dealing with these swarms otherwise. Also, being able to bring our own swarm does not hurt. Yeah. 
God, the definition on the muscles on this man's back. I just... It's upsetting. It is upsetting to look upon. It doesn't really seem like we made use of the second key there, but... Whatever. Who's counting? They probably thought that was a pretty clever trap they were laying. The damage output feels pretty profound. <laughs> Get him, friends. Once again, the only thing that really has a chance of stopping me, I feel like, is my inability to aim my attacks. Uh, but unfortunately, as we've seen many times in the past, my inaccuracy, general lack of dexterity, and uh, especially hubris, are actually very serious problems. myself take a lot of poison damage here. I can't believe there's still another floor. I don't know, I probably could just go straight for the stairs. Like, I probably don't have to fight everything in here. I guess I'm making um, I'm making experience, right? We are we are finishing rep uh, repeatable quests. It does feel like this could maybe be the last floor, though. I think we kind of got the idea. I should have broken some of that stuff and gone to full health. Oh, stay away, please! At least I'm starting to be afforded the proper respect around here. Ha! <laughs> we were lying. We are not scared of it. It is not the only one with trickery. Well, I did fully fall for that. Its magic does not fool us. We will put an end to it. Yeah, I mean, try again. <laughs> Let's make some zombies. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. Yeah, just anywhere I walk, always. <laughs> Feels like it's not even worth trying to dodge. This thing is worth getting rid of, for sure. <laughs> May as well cash it in, right? So if it's allowed to reabsorb 
it's double. It does gain a bunch of health, it looks like. That said, I don't really... I'm not so worried. Health is a little bit low. Actually, no, it regains a huge amount of... Oh, right, because I'm picking up food. Duh. I remember the rules. Who says I don't? So it's probably not actually that valuable for me to attack the double. This is the real one. There we go. I didn't use my buff up attack even once. The whole dungeon. Uh, would you be willing to pretend that I did that to put the thing on hard mode? I just, you know, really needed a challenge. Okay, so this is this is completing a bunch of quests. We can go back and see Octavia. Hopefully, hopefully story progress will will do some good for our forums. I'm really eager to see the necromancer. Why? Why do this? The blood deal is done. It can't be undone. That's not even a thing. Why does it come back? It was know by now what it is. Mistakes were made indeed. But it's too late. It cannot be undone. <laughs> Silent, mindless flexing. Okay. Huzzah! Okay. Bring the shards to Octavia's lab for an amount of form points that extremely does not even matter. Oh my god. Well, he is looking rough. My dude, maybe you should just, like, take the day off. You only defeated me earlier because I was winded and then a boulder fell on me. It shattered my leg into 83 pieces. But I'm a fast healer, buddy. You just won yourself a free trip, all expenses paid, to the Tentacle Beast Realm. Don't threaten me with a good time. Courtesy of yours truly. Yeah, go for it, too. I'll just stand right here and wait. That's fine. Rise, beast, I command you. Wait, wait, no. Get back here. Well, I mean, he might enjoy this. It's hard to say, you know, there are a lot of different kinds of tentacle be- Okay, well, I guess that does answer some of my questions. That's an extremely good sprite. Okay. Well, he's not coming back from that one. The fungal presence is dwindling. How marvelous. Soon it'll be safe to commune with our ancestors once more. We owe so much to the new League of Wizards and the acolytes like you who make it up. Yep, no kidding. I do appreciate the fact that that actually did put the, something on our... Uh, on our map. You're trying to locate Nostra Magus? Oh, I wouldn't mention it to Alistair. They don't get along. Just mentioning his name gets you fined. Your secret's safe with me, though, brave acolyte. I'm sure the gem shard will be safe in your hands while you need it. Thank you for everything you've done here. Okay, so yeah, I see no reason not to just go to Octavia's immediately, right? We probably ought to visit the shopkeeper here while we're uh, while we're passing, because I sure do have a lot of money. <laughs> uh, familiars explode. Go fast. Poison takes longer to build. Honestly, that might be worthwhile. But what if instead of buying that, I just bought way more skill point or er, stat points? We've got a lot of magical stat increase. Oh, but also there's only one stock left. We may as well buy it the rest of the way out. Okay, let's increase our damage output. Who needs other things when you can just murder all of your problems all the way to death? We are $10 short of the next one. Hold on. Okay, you stay right here. I'm going to find 10 bucks. There we go. All 
Okay. Can I help you? What, she didn't remember the flexing? Oh, yes, of course. I, I didn't recognize you. What have you got there? You know, it's the thing you were looking for and... Shut the front door! You got two more gem shards? Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ahem. May I see them? I appreciate that she caught herself. That she cared enough to catch herself. Wow, this is perfect. 888 years ago, the original League of Wizards used the Arcane Gem to send Calamity back to the Ethereal Plane. Nostromagus should be able to do the same thing. I'm just going to use the three shards you've collected to run a scrying spell through my Cauldronator to find him. Yeah, now this is... this is magic. I, I've never tried it before, but through the teleporter Nostromagus himself, no matter where he is, should appear instantaneously. There's a lot of should coming off of this plan. One Nostromagus coming right up. Mummy, give me a countdown. <laughs> yep, that'll be effective. Huh. Well then. You were obviously standing too close. I'll, I'll recalibrate. I'll just... Am I purple now? It was sort of a glowing... Huh. Alright, let's try it again. I think there is perhaps some information that you should be gleaning here, Octavia. What? Uh, what? One more time. I feel like you're gonna get a very similar result, probably. <laughs> It, it can't be, can it? I guess that explains my proficiency with this wand. Yes, I know the data doesn't lie, but that means... Oh, no, it's impossible. Are you Nostromagus? Why didn't you tell us? She stopped making... For some reason, she has stopped having voice clips. Uh, how can you not remember? And and who's going to banish the calamity? Uh, I don't know how the gem works. And it's not like I can ask Astrolabus. He cut off all communication years ago. I have not decided how that guy's name is pronounced. Oh, this is the end. We're doomed. There we go. She found her voice again. She probably just had a frog in her throat. Or, like, a beetle. Hmm. That's true. We do have three of the five shards already. Hmm. Yes, we have located the source of the calamity. Hmm. But the Calamity has surrounded itself with a deadly barrier. I, I don't know if I can do it by myself. Mm -hmm. You want to use the Death Ray on the barrier. I, I abandoned that project. It was highly unethical. But with the Gem Shards... Interesting. <laughs> with the Gem Shards, of course it would be ethical. <laughs> Well, that was, like, childlike glee. Less menacing than I think a laugh usually is after talking about a death ray. Uh, Nostromagus, if you can get the last two shards, we may be able to use the fully assembled gem to power up the death ray and bring down the Calamity's barrier. It's a long shot, but we don't have much choice. Let's do this. And by let's, she means you, as in me. 
Okay, go get the last two shards and meet us at the mouth of hell where the barrier is located. Yeah, no big deal. Sounds easy. Okay, the secret corporation, Dragon Rulers Alcazar. <laughs> cool, good. You'll have to go north to get the last two shards. I I'll open the gate. Do you have something for me or what have you got there, Danielle? <gasps> oh, that rules. Oh, right. We found this hat by the giant hole the other day. I guess it must be yours? Now you better get moving. Those last two shards aren't going to find themselves. Oh, this is very good. With this hat on your head, you feel stronger than ever. Your, ever. your forms now have additional quests. Yes, okay. That is what has unlocked our ability to level up. So, redeem. Interesting that that's not even going to push me to A. I uh, hit five baddies with one flex. Stun 30 baddies. Okay, we're, we're, we're in good shape here. We're going to get some A's. Uh, what's your deal? I'm just one of Octavia's lab assistants. We all have a hand in, make, in making the magic happen. Do you need something? Um, fish curse cure? Do you know anything about that? You want me to develop a cure for a fish curse? Whew, that's not going to be easy, you know? We probably only have enough ingredients to make a single dose, and this isn't something we can give away so freely. How can I know that your friend has indeed become a fish, and didn't just wake up today feeling, like, a little fishy? Well, I can, I can describe his symptoms. I know I'm not much of a talker, but... Alright, let me hear what you have to say. Uh, ever since he became cursed, he's felt... slippery like a bar of soap. He said that, right? Okay, go on. At night, he keeps having nightmares of being caught in a fishing net. I don't remember this, but that makes sense, right? Every single day, he's only able to eat fish meal pellets. Interesting. Even his behavior changed. He now spends time, uh, he now enjoys spending time in the school, the sea schooling with other fish, right? I think he said the only thing he liked to do now was swim. Wow, that does indeed sound like the symptoms of someone with the fish curse. All right, I'll make the cure for you right now. Oh, wow, you didn't even have to... Here it is. Please be careful with this. I don't have any more ingredients to make a second dose. Why even put me... Okay. It's fine. Whatever. We're moving. Okay, more, st more stars have appeared. As though that is likely to be my problem. this and then actually hold on a second I want to we have to unlock rogue to get necromancer so yeah pushing bodybuilder up to a does make sense here okay and I, have, I still have the stun equipped right yeah all right we're gonna we're gonna get this trivially I guess we may as well just go north no sense in heading backward <laughs> Nope, just a plant that's got a lot of eyes. You know, you know how this happens. <laughs> oh, none of these fit. Oh, believe it or not, I was not born a hammer. Uh, let me show you something. Ah, okay. My friend, this is the slab I'm trying to repair. I just need the missing stone piece. Years ago, a dark wizard named Astrolabus used to work around these parts. He's the one who made me into this. I'm sure he had something to do with the calamity. Typical of him. He took off into the clouds. Coward. Okay, interesting. Well, maybe I'll find what you're looking for. We're gonna have a hard time um, getting any stuns off here because everything's gonna die first. This area is pretty significantly below our level. I mean, the hit 
five baddies with one flex thing could totally happen. Right, Y'all have that under control. Where does this go? Okay, to an area that's a little bit more level appropriate. There we go, and the enemies here can actually survive to take the stun. Huh. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these weird, gross fungus problems we've been seeing lately. There we go, the big flex. I want to go skinny dipping, but I keep getting interrupted. I'll never cross the lake, though. The Shadowlands are on the other side. No one goes there. Health, please. I guess we could swap one of our... Hmm. Do I want to swap something out for, like, Zom Nom Nom, maybe? Actually, consume is probably a good idea. Well, we'll we'll solve the problem that way. I will simply consume my foes. They're full of protein, probably. One assumes. Hey there. These sewers have been ours ever since we gained our freedom during the revolution. Now that the monsters are here, our independence is once again being threatened. We shall fight these oppressors and reclaim what is rightfully ours, or die trying. Uh, hello. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter find this very compelling. Okay. Just a tiny concern. Nope. I got stuck on the wall. Okay. Here we go. All right. Mostly focused on consuming. Those are pretty creepy hands. I don't know if we actually need to stay rat, but why would you not be rat, right? Okay, yeah, there are still there are still small areas in this tunnel. Do sharp damage, detonate people, and stomp. Okay. Let's do the sharp damage before we switch to uh, stomp. Seems like it should be pretty easy to push through this. actually know what happens when you upgrade a form to a I suppose it could be really cool uh let's som nom nom I guess and also I've I guess I could I could have used that to do all my sharp damage all right it's a pretty good start another quest we did okay well we'll get there after we do the stop thing shouldn't take too long uh wait so i was told pretty explicitly not to go to the shadowlands but also yeah that's right i am good don't you forget it okay back to bodybuilding Thank <laughs> you. 
Holy hell. Okay, kind of a lot of enemies all of a sudden out of nowhere. And yes, I have already forgotten. Stun people, defeat baddies with ranged attacks. Why do I have five points on this? What do I have that it thinks is ranged? Also, I do feel like I did hit five baddies in one flex at least once. I came here to commune with the dragon ruler of the Shadowlands. I thought he could cure the <coughs> fungus sickness that's infecting my friends. But the sickness has taken hold of me. I can barely move. Turn back. Enjoy the time you have left. There's nothing here but... I don't know how to make fungal noises. <laughs> right? Because they're like, it's a, I don't know. Monsters and death. The decor here is pretty cool. I am broadly a big fan. Oh, check out the skeleton cats. Yeah, this is my new favorite area. Are these just, huh? Just crystals, huh? Weird. Also weird that there are so many mana fairies just sitting around. You really do not get very much max mana from those upgrades. <laughs> this is by far the least doomful place we've ever been. Are there supposed to be no enemies at all? Oh, here we go. We got a room. So that's definitely a flex that hit a bunch of enemies. Huh, yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm getting progress on that challenge. Is flex not the ability? Oh, this is pump up. This is flex. Despite the fact that you literally flex. Okay. Fine. There we go. Yep, I knew it. I knew he was going to just wrap around that. Well, the good news is we can farm a lot of multi-hit flexes here. So actually dying on this challenge repeatedly might actually be like a really smart idea. Okay, that's our first A rank form. Okay, so nothing special happens. I mean, I knew we weren't gonna unlock an ability slot or anything. I don't know what we're getting shot put credit from, because we definitely don't have any ranged attacks equipped. Well, whatever. Let's uh, swap to Slug. We can get this form right now. Poison damage, water spray. Okay. Uh, we can put on the water spray and also the Ranger's poison thing and see if we can maybe get all of that. And then status explosion. Do I want status explosion? Probably. Okay, try to blob blob some dudes. This seems like it should be pretty doable. Ow. Damn it. I'm out of mana, shit. Easy. 
Why is that not firing? Bar's feeling a little bit more slowly than I might like. With both tears and water spray, we should build up the poison like very quickly. So I'm hoping that one will just kind of complete itself. I guess after I get the poison on them, I want to stop hitting them. Actually, how is this worded? Kill baddies with poison damage. Okay, so I need to push them to the edge. It's not just deal, po deal damage with your poison debuff. Ah, shit. doing a very good job of focusing here. There we go. Just kind of getting some some score on everything individually. I guess I should probably break these for the mana. I mean, we're not going to see the rogue, I guess. Or the... Um, the necromancer right away because we do have to do the rogue first but maybe the rogue will be cool too not as cool as a necromancer obviously but you know could still be cool didn't quite get him with the poison Okay, getting some good progress there. Ah, landed a crit right before he died. Oh, are they going to tick out? No, neither of them, in fact. But if I try to go even a little bit longer, it looks like there's so much risk of accidentally just killing them. I was a little afraid I was going to kill with the, uh, the stat explosion there. It doesn't really feel that doomy, you know? A bunch of like carefully organized combats. I am the fallen hero. Good job making it through the path of doom. Here are some stars as a reward. Cool. Three. Thanks. People die when they are killed. I mean, it doesn't seem like that's always true, but okay, fine. You a specter. In the name of the dragon ruler, stand down. Wait, you're a person, kind of. 
Forgive me, traveler. I haven't seen many living souls in the eight centuries I've been here. I'm the groundskeeper of the Shadowlands, bound by immortality to serve the maker of this nightmare, the Dragon Ruler. Even after my ruler died, the spell wasn't broken. And now, my master's Alcazar is covered in a gooey fungus. What sort of punishment would he have for a groundskeeper who can't perform his duties? Oh, better not to think of it. I don't know what an Alcazar is. Uh, familiars cannot be knocked or interrupted. That doesn't seem like much. Oh, get money? Hell yeah. We are constantly getting money. That's just free XP. Is it cool to swim across this stuff? Okay, doesn't seem to have done any real harm. What else did you have? Oh, I, I need to... Every single time we come here, we gotta check the stars. After mana is depleted, health is spent instead of mana? That seems extremely dangerous. Crit King seems very generically good. Like, the kind of thing you would just equip on a lot of your characters. So wait, where does this go down to? This is an area in the, the Path of Doom map, right? Okay, yeah, worth doing. Can we get behind here? Hmm. I wonder if the dragon can fly. That might be what's going on there. Need some enemies. Here we go. Damn it. Stupid explosive spiky crit damage. Oh, just curious. a little bit hard to kill these things uh, to poison these things before killing them rather that guy seems to be immune to poison which is awkward we're getting there though it's getting done These are uh, a little bit annoying to fight, actually. Okay. Six more. have like four mana sorry it was five that's you know it's unfair of me to be so disparaging when you're out here doing such excellent work So hard to know when to stop shooting. <laughs> right, 
I have denied myself a lot of quest credits so far. But we're still going to get there. There we go. So that should actually do it, right? It's so weird that the rogue, which is like one of the most basic general fantasy ideas, is so high up in the tree. Okay, perform a knife throwing combo. I can add range and pierce by holding down the button. Also, picking up money reduces cooldowns. That's cool. And yes, I have to get you to see to unlock the necromancer. Should be pretty straightforward, I would think. So yeah, just do, just do damage with your attacks. Um, what do we want? I don't necessarily want to add bonus damage because I want to maximize the number of hits I'm dealing. Zom nom nom, I guess. And then like health items restore mana. That's not terrible. And I'm just going to take an evasion skill, I guess. Yeah, use dodge. Okay, I see. So like one knife, then three, then five. So you're, as you're moving up your combo, you're dealing wider damage. The designs of the monsters that are native to this area are so cool. Ow, 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 ow. I tried to stop, drop, and roll with the di with the dodge like that was gonna work. I need to I need to actually use the uh, the lock direction controls more often. Hooray, ability! Is it cool? Is it a good one? Okay, hold to become invisible. That's, that seems pretty all right. So hit three baddies with one charged fan of knives. Pick up money while your stuff's on cooldown. Dagger baddies after staying cloaked for one second is not... I don't... Mm, they might not know what daggering is. of progress. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing. <sighs> Alright, well, swing and a miss there. Listen, video games are hard. That's my official story. actually spend some time outside of the fucking hand shadow realm so that I can hit them with my phantom knives. It's increasingly difficult to get three hits here because they're very cowardly. Okay. Easy enough. So keep doing that thing. Pick up money. Get crits. I have no mana. Press the button and immediately. Oh, because I ran out of mana, I'm sure. I pressed the button and it immediately ended. I was like, that wasn't very sneaky. Oh, 
All right. Kind of working it out, although I'm going to be honest with you. I don't super care how this class plays. This is not the point of the exercise. Nope. Damn it. This thing is very adept at finding you. Did that count? I don't think that counted. I don't believe I got a crit. How are you still alive? I feel like the, the little boomerang monster was at no health for like six or seven consecutive hits. Okay, I really need there not to be a wall of fire between me and my enemies. What? I just got, I got no attack when I let go of the thing. It just didn't attack. There we go. There's a guaranteed crit. Okay, so if you just run up to their backside and tap the button, it does do the crit in a very straightforward way. I guess I should try to get to those treasure chests. These suck. I hate these so much. I just need, I need you all to be out at the same time. If I zone transition, will it wipe the fire out? Because we're not actually trying to make progress right now. I am absolutely just trying to get this mission done. The only thing that matters is necromancer progress. Just like in real life. I can really use some food. <laughs> that time we didn't get anything. It'd be super helpful if they didn't respond to me going invisible by turning around. What? So when you're, it's supposed to be the case that when you release the button, it attacks, but it really doesn't do it that often. It's very often the case that you release the button and you just stop being invisible, but nothing else has occurred. All right, there we go. We're gonna hit three enemies now. So yeah, we can collect people pretty easily and then just mass them up. We're pretty close too. We're actually, actually right on the edge here. Okay, that's fine. The save stone's right there. Honestly, this might have been a better move than running off the map. Okay. Also, you know, levels or whatever. I'm just very excited. I'm very excited to be a necromancer. Hit a baddie with five knives in one attack. That's just be close to an enemy when you uh, release the, the last part. Wow, the cooldown on Cloak and Dagger is like a million years. Okay, that was hit from behind. We just didn't get the crit. I suppose I had to grab the credit for that so we can reset it. Yeah, this five knives at once thing is no problem. And is that enough? Yes, that will that will just do it. This is the only thing I care about right now. 
It's also, honestly, not that bad of a fighting style, it would seem. There we go. Oh, that's a good necromancer. Yes, that is very exciting. Uh, shoot necrotic lightning from your from your fingies. Also, familiars are healed for 100% of all damage you do. Am I? It looks like you don't actually start with an ability that makes familiars, though, huh? Yeah, that's very exciting. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll get one soon. For right now, we can equip Zombite. And also, um, Zom Nom Nom, I guess, and it's dark damage, so probably doesn't matter too much what else we pick up right now. We don't really know what we synergize with. Sure, even more healing. And uh, we don't have any blunt damage. Sure, mana. Mana and health and stuff. Seems pretty decent. Yeah, I like the sprite very much. This is exactly the character I want to be when I am playing a video game. God, this hallway is so narrow. Alright, thanks, friends. We discovered the Dark Tower. Uh, I probably want to, I, I think I do want to save up for the crit thing, because it does, it does feel like I'm going to use crit king basically always, so 2400. No spending until we've got 2400. Well, I just realized what time it is. We're probably going to have to do most of our necromancy next time. For right now, though, let's, uh, let's push a little bit further, because it is fun to shoot lightning at people. You know, I, Emperor Palpatine really had it right. That guy, that guy knew what was going on. We could get, um, we could take Paul out of the hat from the magician as well. It might even make more sense than, uh, than Zombite, because I don't... I mean, I guess our, our attack's not, like, super long range. I like to maintain a little bit of distance, though. This guy seems to have uh, forgotten that we were fighting. It <laughs> works just fine for me, I suppose. Necromancy. You only have to get this form to C to unlock the dragon. Summons demon familiars from corpses, deals dark damage, seems pretty solid. Alright. Heal damage familiars, summon demon familiars, seems pretty straightforward. Let's get out of here and try to summon some demons. Okay, so it creates it just like right around me. Oh, they're so cool. Look at them. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I like them very much. This rules. I get why they make you earn it, though, because, like, if you could start as the Necromancer, why would you ever play anything else? It's a sign. There's a sign here. It says, Welcome to the Pit of Death Scrub. People who mess with the Dragon Ruler get thrown in here. But they last 60 seconds, they get let go. But no one has, and no one will. Want to try? Then you must want to die. 
But I mean, obviously, obviously I want to try. Come on. Oops, that's not even the right button. Oh, you're invulnerable. Okay. Uh, I mean, we don't need to kill him. We just need to run away, right? But I guess... Oops. How death are we talking about here? Pretty death, actually. The thing about it is, quite death? Okay, very classy. So these are just unavoidable. They do kill the enemies too, though, at least. I hate the stupid rolling, uh, the stupid spinning enemy so much. His hitbox is so huge, and if he touches you, you get stunned and bumped back, so you're just gonna get hit again, and like, there we go. So I do have to break their setup, but once I do that, it very much makes sense to just let them handle the saw blades for us. Damn it. He pushed me into the saw blades. Ah, I got attacked. I got killed by something that wasn't even the spinning enemy because I was paying so much attention to the spinning enemy. What do you want to bet the reward for doing this is just like a couple of stars, maybe? Kind of worked. No, nope, don't. Ah, yeah. If that, if the spinning guy hits you, you're once you're getting hit a bunch of times. There's nothing you can really do about it because it stuns you and pushes you back along its path. Also, hitbox is so much larger than its graphic. doing it. We're getting there. All right, just do damage with the summon circle. We got to get two more skills down. I mean, this is probably not the best place to be super, super stressed about it. Wow. I died before the saws even got to us. Just spinning enemies dealing way too much damage. that really don't feel like that hit me stupid hand enemy came up underneath me and pushed me upwards Ticks. 
Oh, that one didn't even die. Shit. This is uh, very difficult. Also, it seems like if the um, if the spinning guys hit you against the wall, you just can't move anymore. You are you are completely trapped. Their hitbox like envelops you. Cool. That's a really fun way for that to have worked. myself get hung up on the hands way too much there we're gonna give this like a couple more attempts i i don't think i can do this i think if i was really gonna try to do this we're gonna take this very seriously first of all we have to pick a form that has a smaller hitbox probably because this one's getting hit even when we're obviously not getting touched by the saw blades which does really suck but also like it's probably the ghost right or at least it's probably somebody using ethereal ah. so like what would it be it would be somebody with blunt damage using ethereal does it make the most sense for that to be the ghost it might because we can keep boo running all the time and be fed mana and then just you, you take like stomp or something. Honestly, Gallop's doing pretty good work. And then yeah, stun powder. I don't know that it matters too much what else we take. Just poison, I guess. But having ethereal, I think it's gonna help a lot. The ghost is smaller and also seems to have a much higher base speed. Oh, just like as many spins as you want, huh? Right, we don't have to kill, we just have to live. Yeah, this thing where, um... Thing where the spinning enemies can decide to just spin as many times as they want it really sucks. I was out of mana. I did I did hit Ethereal, but I had run out of mana from too much galloping. I was gonna say it was zero for like three seconds you feel you've earned the right to deface the stupid sign i do i do feel that way right something yeah fuck these guys one star 
One star and 50 XP. Of course it was. <sighs> I decided to stop doing necromancy for that. Just terrible. All right, let's go save here. I'm still overjoyed with this form. Look at how good all the animations are. I don't have enough mana. I was going to just fire off a quick demon circle. But apparently, we won't even be doing that. What we will be doing is just ending the episode here and saying thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, it is full-on necromancy time all of the time, and I could not be more excited. And we'll see you then.